So for today's adventure, you're going to need an SD card, an SD to USB converter, a Jetson Nano development kit, a, a mouse and keyboard, a power supply for your development kit, and some sort of monitor to plug this into. If you're using an external power supply instead of powering it through the USB, uh, remember you need to put something in between these two pins to let it know that you're getting power from that point. There needs to be a, uh, or there is a, a quick um, installation once you plug it in, uh, but this part basically guides itself. Um, you know, just kind of make up a name and a computer name, username and password, and it, yeah, it, it'll walk you through it. As much as I hate taking videos of screens, uh, it's going to be the easiest way to do this because otherwise I'd have to figure out how to record sound on the on the Jetson. And if it's anything like the Raspberry Pi, it doesn't have a dedicated input for audio and that's going to be a mess. Anyways, so um, let's start with a update. Um, Control Alt T will open up a terminal for you. Um, I googled how to install Synaptic Package Manager. Um, we could probably just install um, Dolphin directly, but let's just do it this way for funsies and, and it should be error proof. Um, yeah, so you click on this a bunch of times until it highlights, and then you click over here, and then you met middle button click, and you type in your password. Very, uh, password, and then these thingies pop up, and that's usually good things. Um, but the first thing I'm doing is an update, and uh, normally I do a sudo apt upgrade, but it's not telling me to, so uh, we're just going to skip that step for now. And I guess if it complains, then then we'll know. Do I want to install this? Yes, please. Okay, so we'll be back. Alright, so once that's done, we'll uh, start up Synaptic, and you probably want to give that sudo. I only don't like it if you don't give it sudo, but it's nice because it warns you. Um, yeah, then we start it up. Uh, tells us some stuff. Okay, so let's search for Dolphin Emu Lator. And hey, it's right there. Mark for installation. Mark. This kind of reminds me of a uh, anaconda. It's kind of cool. Um, so I guess there's oh apply duh. So let's do apply. All right, and we'll be back. All right, so feeling this surface, it's uh, feels like it's burning up a bit. I've got this small Raspberry Pi fan. I'm just gonna lay it on top. And, you know, we can figure out of a more permanent solution later. Um, the nice thing is that it's labeled, so I just have to find ground and 5 volts. That's not 5 volts, this one's 5 volts. And I'm really just placing it on top. As you can see, it's got screw holes for uh, a real placement. But that should do a pretty good job of lowering the temperature. Anyways, um, yeah, so you just type in Dolphin Emu. This pops up once you, you know, download Dolphin Emu. Um, then you press open downloads so that you 1000% legally download. Double click on it. And there we have it, the classic Wind Waker. Uh, yeah, thanks to the fan, it's actually moving pretty nicely. It was at, okay, never mind, it's staying at 20. Um, that's not terrible, but yeah, um, with better cooling, I'm sure it'd go faster. And yeah, that's about it.
Getting an Xbox controller, I'm using a, a wired one, is um, a little trickier, but not too difficult. So the first step is you got to get the driver ready. So that is um, this guy, sudo apt install Xbox driver. Um, and then you want to run this command, echo black list xpad sudo t mod pro blah blah blah. And then you want to run xbox silent detach kernel driver. When you do that, you'll know it's working because this guy is, you know, goes from linking all the way around to knowing it's the first controller. Once you do that, you can go back to Dolphin and um, this last tab here will be controllers and then you can configure and, and this part's a little annoying but you can just kind of go through it um, basically be like okay up is gonna be that guy and so now it knows which directions up down is gonna be like that and then left right and so on and so forth um yeah so you can see that it's got that now and yeah you can just go from there